everybody and welcome back. I am the Sovereign and this is my court. Welcome back. Hello to everyone is new. I am a little bit dressed down today because I'm supposed to be getting ready for bed. I'm supposed to be doing my makeup routine. I'm not supposed to be sitting here doing a video which is why you guys see me in my lounge about clothes. This is not normally how I appear on camera but what the hey. I saw that Shane Dawson had dropped an apology video and I caught it pretty early and I thought that it would be a good idea to kind of respond or talk about this video from the perspective of a black person. I am a black person and I will say this was a good attempt at an apology. This was a good start. I appreciate the fact that Shane finally stopped hiding, stopped hiding behind his note messages and Twitter and stopped whining and finally came back and really explained himself to his audience and outsiders who have been seeing all these things pop up because it was the first thing that I saw when I opened my phone this morning. First thing I saw was stuff about Shane and children and I'm just like I'm probably like a lot of you I'm not a viewer of Shane or I really wasn't a viewer of Shane I didn't know about the extensive amount of just crap in his past I knew about the blackface but I did not know how dirty his past was and coming firsthand I spent a good 35 minutes this morning watching his old videos just going through his old videos and there is so much so much nastiness I mean a lot like I can't find one video with his black friend Shauna who's also a problem where he didn't make a comment about her being black. I can't find not one video of Shane and Shauna where he wasn't making black jokes. If you have a white friend and all they can talk about is the fact that you're black, yeah it's a problem. We are in fact human beings and there's more to me than just the fact that I have a really nice tan given to me by God. But it really seems like Shane has had a come to Jesus moment and he's really starting to understand the nastiness that he contributed to in the world. Shane really has to, I'm saying this as a black person and I have a few notes here. So I'll just start because he said, you know, I can't imagine what it feels like to be a black person and to see this and I'll let you know. It fucking sucks. It sucks that people think it, it is an okay, appropriate thing to stereotype me or my family as if we are nothing more than caricatures and the thing that hurts even more so than that is the fact that the audience surrounding this thought it was okay as well that's what sucks to see a group of people laughing at you for no other reason than the way that you were born giving no thought to your other features other characteristics and only the fact that you were born black is something to be laughed at and not taken seriously hurts like hell. And it is a contributing factor in the races of America. Shane, it seems like he does understand that Shane contributed it. Contri I can't say that word. Contributed to racism in a massive way over the span of a decade. He showed young audiences that it is okay and permissible to laugh and make fun of black people. And I'm gonna let you know how this personally affected me. It affects me to this day, Shane, just so you know, just so every, all the white people here, close your mouths. Close your mouths, white people who are gonna be in the comment section because you don't, you don't get to have a say here. You can sit and listen, which is part of the problem. You guys have not been listening. How this has personally affected me is that number one, because Shane Dawson made it an acceptable thing to make fun of black people, other people then came to me when we tried to like when I try to voice my opinions or other black people try to voice our opinions saying hey you need to stop Shane made it okay for his fans to come over here to us black people and say hey chill out it was just a joke hey chill out you know you're being too sensitive he made those statements okay pretty much not acknowledging the pain or the seriousness of the situation that we were going through. He made it okay to ignore the pain that we were experiencing from himself and his fans. He made it an okay thing to go around making fun of black people and not care about their feelings. He has contributed to this. And even today, before Shane issued his apology, I got on Twitter and for the last couple days because people have been saying this thing about Jeffree Star as well and we're going to talk about him too but Shane I would say when it came to Shane and Jeffree Star I said I don't accept I don't don't I do not accept their past apologies 
I don't. And people kept telling me, well, you should just accept it. It's been so long and it's in the past. And once again, gaslighting black people. There is a reason black people have never accepted, fully accepted their apologies. And I'm gonna say this for everybody. If any time that you are in a serious situation, there are situations that require more than just an I'm sorry. There are situations where you need to do more than simply apologize. Can you imagine getting into a car crash, hitting someone's car, saying sorry, and then driving away? Can you imagine causing physical injury or harm to someone, saying sorry, and then walking away? There are certain instances where sorry does not cut it. So no, I didn't. I had never accepted Jeffree Star's or Shane's apology because their actions didn't match their words. Even though Shane had apologized and said he regretted his blackface and other things that he did in his past, those videos were left up on YouTube, monetized. And I don't wanna hear it because there is proof on the internet that he had deleted over 100 million views off of his channel as of a few days ago and today. To, as of this morning, I have watched videos of Shane saying n ridiculous things about children, got a black woman dressed up as Aunt Jemima in one of his videos, the, the, the Aunt Jemima that just got canceled because it's a racist stereotype, that is still on his channel. So if you're gonna tell me that you're apologizing, your actions don't match your words. How do you say that you are so deeply sorry? I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have done it. But you leave this stuff up to make money, to be seen. If you no longer agree with the things that you did on camera, why do you allow it to be seen by the public? Why is it still up there? On top of that, Shane spent 10 years, more than 10 years, Shane, in the video he said 15. He spent over a decade perpetuating negative stereotypes and hate towards black people and other groups. It wasn't just words. Understand this, Shane took the time to over the years put together videos, write scripts demeaning black people. He put hours and days and years of effort into his videos demeaning black people. So when you actively take part in hurting someone else, when you come to the point where you need to apologize, you also need to actively take part, put as much effort as you did in distributing those nasty videos. I wanna see that same energy and effort into fixing the hate and negativity you spread around the internet. It is not enough to just say sorry. 10 years of thought out, planned out, scripted videos demeaning black people and you want me to just accept the fact that you're sorry. No, and I'm happy, I didn't expect this, but I, I saw that Shane had said that in his video. He said, you know, I need to do more than just having white people on my channel i need to do more than just you know spread these white influencers on my channel and on my platform and you have to understand because shane's still missing some things and he's a white man so shane black woman here hi and i'm not attacking you and i appreciate the fact that you got out of your feelings enough to understand that criticism is not an attack my channel is all about criticism i criticize people all damn day and I get messages from the girls that I criticize and they just say thank you because they know that it comes from the heart and that I love them I, I say things to make them better and I don't say it in a hateful way so I'm not saying this in a hateful way but I need him to understand these things Shane not only have you been spreading around simply just white influencers all over the platform imagine how it looks to black people whom you've said you apologize to to then team up with the only single person on youtube who has a worse racist past than you do you went to the one person on the platform who whose past is worse than you which was jeffree star and it's not just jeffree star the people that you have been spreading around have all been toxic. All of them have been toxic. You chose to spread around the most negative people, but you want us to accept your apology, but you teamed up with the most problematic and hurtful people. Like Tana Mojo just got called out for some racist stuff as well. Like these are the people you went to, but you want us to accept your apology. Your actions never matched your apology. This goes for both Shane Dawson 
and Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star's actions have not matched his words. He has continued to engage in drama. He has continued to be negative and spread hate. He's apologized to the black community, but he's done nothing to lift up the black community. And I'm not accepting the fact that he's just flinging money left and right. Flinging money around means you're just sitting on your, on your butt, doing nothing, throwing money at the world and hoping that it's gonna solve a problem. Like I said before, you need to be an active participant and remedying the situation that you helped to create. It is not okay to sit on your butt and just say sorry and think we're gonna accept an apology. And white people, please take a lesson from Shane because even Shane understands why, he, he understands that his apology is not automatically going to be accepted. And it is not your right, it is not your place to come in my comment section or on my Twitter account and tell me to forgive anybody. There is a reason and a justification why they are not forgiven. Shane right now to me is not forgiven. This is a good start. I appreciate that he's starting off this way and he's trying to clear the air, but in order to earn the forgiveness of me, or any community he's offended. You need to put your your actions where your words and your apology is. I and I'm I know I have to break things down for people because people always ask me, "Well, what does Jeffrey Star, what does Shane have to do? What do these people have to do in order to be forgiven?" Fine. Okay. Let's just say you don't know what to do, you don't know how to be forgiven. Shane has made these videos redeeming these people who arguably don't deserve it or have like at this point he's tried to redeem Jake Paul and Jeffree Star and both of them have squandered that uh, good press that Shane gave them because they weren't ready to really be apologetic. They just wanted that good press. I would like to see Shane Dawson take that energy that he spent on people that weren't worthy and put it into the community that he says he loves. Why don't you go find influencers who are not as big as you and Jeffree Star, who arguably have the talent to be big and bring them to the forefront? Why don't you do a documentary exploring all the undiscovered talent in the beauty community? Diversify the beauty community because everybody, hey, I don't wanna hear it. Everybody in the beauty community at this point, other than Jackie Ina, is white passing. Like people are telling me, oh, we have an Asian, way. they're white passing. I need the beauty community, which is such a big community to be all encompassing. We should not be stuck with the same five problematic influencers that we have been stuck with. Why, like Jackie Ina has, I don't know, three million subscribers and Jeffree Star's over here with 18. Like, come on now, go find influencers and give them the spotlight. Go find black people and really have a conversation with them about how it feels to deal with this constantly because I don't talk about it very much on my channel because it hurts. I have videos on black issues. I flew to DC to do the protest and yeah, I cried in my DC protest video. I did because having this issue constantly on you will completely destroy you mentally, especially when you have an entire white community gaslighting the hell out of you, telling you it either doesn't exist to stop whining or that you're being oversensitive. It is a crazy, crazy feeling. It's like living in the twilight zone. I see what's going on, but you guys are just now catching up to where the black community has been for years. And I appreciate the effort, but there needs to be more than just an apology. So I need to see Shane uplift more influencers, smaller influencers, more positive influencers, more influencers of color. Bring your big platform, put more issues that need to be discussed on the platform. Yes, Shane Shane has, I don't know why he said he didn't, but Shane has always gone gone to the places where there is the most drama. Jeffree Star, uh, Tana Mojo, Jake Paul, those are drama-filled co content creators, okay, Shane? And arguably, of course, it's gonna get a good audience, but there are ways to still deal within the drama world, but in a positive way. You can do an entire series on the ridiculousness of blackface, and trust me, it's ridiculous. That's plenty of drama, but do it in a way that's educational and sheds light on the serious problems of it. There's ways to turn drama into something good. Shane can do an entire series on all the many, 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 many influencers on the YouTube platform who have racist past, can Sorry, side note, why do you all have racist past? I'm sorry, I have to ask why do you all have racist past? You know black influencers like we don't. Black YouTubers do not have a racist past and I just, I'm just like why do you all have racist past? All of the big, everybody? But still, go make a documentary about 
why these influencers who have these racist past, who have these problematic past, they haven't done anything to really remedy the situation either. People are like, oh, we haven't forgiven Laura Lee. Hell no, I haven't forgiven Laura Lee and that trash apology she gave. What has she done to better her image or to repay the damage that she's call, caused or learn from her mistakes. Where is it at? I went over to her page one uh, a few weeks ago and she had posted a uh, Vogue challenge photo. And for those of you who don't know, the Vogue challenge was started in order to lift uplift the people in that community, the photographers and the models who don't get attention. And here's Laura Lee treating it like it's some TikTok challenge. This is what I'm talking about. This is why we don't automatically accept apologies. It's because your actions don't match your words. You guys will say sorry and then go demean black people the next day. There needs to be action. So I think Shane is finally understanding and is realizing how much he's contributed to this negativity, this negative culture on the internet. And before you expect anyone to forgive you, Shane, I don't hate you, but I'm not gonna outright forgive you. I need to see you actively making changes, doing better, trying to remedy the toxic situation that you put on the internet. I need that first. And then when I see those actions matching the video that he put out with that apology, when I see those actions matching up, then I will believe the fact that, yeah, Shane has finally come around and Shane has finally changed. Please, please, and set an example for the, for the content creators who aren't there, who aren't doing it, who just are sitting on their butts expecting things to be handed to them or given to them, or God forbid, still making the mistakes of messing with the black community, Nikita Dragon. Like I said, I don't hate Shane, and I truly, truly hope that he turns this around and makes things better. So I'm not, I'm not accepting his apology just yet. Hey, it's me. I'm sitting here watching the video back and I realize I didn't really address a lot of the stuff when it comes to Shane and children. And that's because for one, he didn't address it very much himself. And it's very difficult for me to even comprehend where his mind was or even where he would start to rebuild his reputation from the things that he did relating to children. It would be a lie for me to put in the video that I in good conscience will ever truly be able to get over the things that I have seen Shane do and say when it comes to children. I cannot in my head find any reasoning behind his actions or his words and it seems like he can't really justify it either which there is no justification but I'm not gonna lie and say that I sure for sure have the strength in me to forgive him for these child related matters. I can't, I can't promise that. I think that for the rest of Shane's life, this is going to impact how people see him and perceive him and treat him in the future. I, I'm not exactly sure that there is coming back from the child related issues. And I was trying to be very positive in the video, um, maybe giving him hope moving forward. There is redemption when it comes to the racist past, not to say that it wouldn't be hard work, but there is. But when it comes to these child related issues, I just, I, I, I can't find a path forward for him. This is definitely going to skew how I see him for the remainder of my life. I can't let it go. I don't think I'll ever be able to let it go. Shane Dawson, I will never think of him the same way that I did before. Not to say that I thought the most of him, but I think we can all agree that it's very possible that some of these things are not forgivable. And that's just why I can't really speak too much on it because what is there to say? What is there to say? It was grotesque. It was disgusting. And I find it very difficult in my soul to even speak about it. And at this moment, I can't even comprehend. I can't even stomach the thought of forgiveness on that level, on those grounds right now. I can't. So just in case you guys think I wasn't, I wasn't addressing the child-related issues, it's just because there's not much to say. Thank you guys for tuning into this video and I hope everybody learned from this lesson. Those of you in the comment section, watch your mouth. I'm a very nice queen, but I will get medieval on your ass real quick, okay? Give the video a thumbs up, and if you are not a member of my court, we welcome you. We are a diverse, friendly, slightly 
fabulous, maybe a little eccentric crowd, but you are more than welcome to come and hang with us. I hope to see you in the future. I love you and I will miss you, but you know I will be back in a future video. Bye!